all right so welcome back uh, here i set up the basic like comments what i'm going to do uh, in this particular cell so i have overall like up to 10 step in the 10th step we'll calculate the snow covered area and then in the ninth step we'll add the snow cover area to our map right so in order to do that so i already created my area of interest so it, my area of interest is some sort of some part of like nepal and it's near Jomsom area right and uh, this is the glacier region and i'm interested to do my analysis over this region so feel free to uh, create your own area of interest but this is my area of interest right and first thing first so first of all i'm going to center my map to my aoi with zoom level of 10 and in this second step so we are going to load the landset data set so for that we'll write the collection equal to and then uh, we'll simply copy and paste this code so this is the like Lancet collection uh, and uh, we are going to like filter it by date and the bound and after that uh, we'll do our analysis right so first of all let me like filter the bounds to AOI and after that I think we can like do the filter date uh, and then the date can be like uh, uh, we'll filter based on like some sort of year feel free to uh, like change this year if you are interested in different time uh, zone a uh, different like time or different month so for me uh, the image should be from 2024 11 to 2024 12 31 and we can always like print the number of images collection dot size uh, that means uh, the number of imagery we are using here see looks like we have oh i forgot to i miss it miss spell it so we have only 22 imagery and using this imagery so we are going to do the other kind of processing the first step is the other step is to like remove the cloud so in order to remove cloud we'll like filter our image based on cloud cover property uh, with the less than 10 yalti means less than uh, 10 percent cloud if the image has less than 10 percent cloud then and only uh, we'll like use that in the analysis and then uh, in the map function we have this qa pixel value uh, basically uh, it will help us to like remove the cloud from like our imagery uh, using this bit bitwise marks right all right so after that we are going to select the only one image because this particular tutorial is to show you like how to like uh, calculate the ndsi or how to map the uh, snow covered area in single imagery that's why i'm selecting the first image and then clipping uh, it to my area of interest right and in order to calculate the uh, normalized difference uh, snow index so basically you can use uh, our image and then the normalized difference value and normalized difference between band 3 and band 6 so this band 3 is our green band and band 6 is short wave infrared band uh, SWIR1 right and we rename it to NDSI so that our NDSI will be calculated uh, so uh, in order to like visualize your NDSI image so you can simply write uh, NDSI visualizer setting uh, of course the ndsi value lies between minus one and one because it's a normalized different index and then for now let's put the color blue white and maybe the red one as well uh, so if the value is negative then uh, we'll see the blue color if the value is near one uh, sorry near zero then we'll see the white color and if the value is uh, really 
higher than greater than one or around like greater than 0 0.2 or something then we'll see the red color right and then we try to visualize add that to the map and also i would like to um i would like to like uh sorry not here i would also like to like uh, visualize this image so in order to visualize that maybe i can visualize that in true color composite so my minimum value will be 5000 and 20000 uh, you can get that value from like visualizer console and then the band will be 432 which is the true color band right and if i hit run then uh, two layers will be loaded here and this is my layer right and uh, let me toggle off this so this is my lancet image and uh, you can see that uh, not my all the area is covered with this uh, lancet map this region has the blank space this is due to like cloud coverage so simply we remove like uh, if the area is covered with cloud then we remove that area from our analysis right that's why uh, our uh, we have this empty space in our analysis and uh, when i check the ndsi value basically the red value represent the higher value and if i toggle this like opacity then uh, you can clearly see that the white part of this image is uh, represent with the red color that means uh, looks like our like uh, this handy si is able to like figure out the uh, snow snow covered region right and now uh, the another step we are going to do is we are going to uh, threshold uh, the uh, snow i mean threshold the handy si value uh, to uh, represent the snow basically uh, from this and si so if we have the value greater than 0 0.4 then we call it snow otherwise we call it non-snow right so this is the um, this is the subjective value based on your reason the value might be lies uh, around like 0 0.3 or 0 0.5 or 0 0.4 it's uh, in order to get the optimum value you need to like um check this value with multiple number and then try that slider and then try to see whether it's popping performing well or not right and after that we will add that snow to our map and uh if i hit run then i'll see three layers and this time we have this uh sign color uh, in the map right this this blue color in the map which represent the snow right let me zoom in to the uh, few of the region and then try to toggle in the lancet image as well and whenever i toggle this sorry not this one maybe this one when i try to toggle this looks like it's trying to like approximately guessing the snow covered area quite well for example let's zoom into this region this particular region right and when i toggle this off looks like yeah it it, it is representing the snow covered pixel right but uh, the result might not be same in all case for example maybe somewhere here right i, I don't know whether it's snow or not uh, uh, but looks like it's it's also white part right but it's not covering that pixel it's uh, removing i mean uh, the some of the pixel are still white that means those are not snow covered according to our threshold value right in order to get optimum value again as i said before so maybe you can check with the 0 0.3 value and hit run and then maybe again zoom into the same location and maybe i'll turn off this and then try to see how it's performing is it better or bad so yeah there is no right threshold value but uh, for most of the case you can put 0 0.4 is the optimum value right all right so the last step is to like calculate the area of snow covered area so for that we uh, first of all we try to count the number of like snow covered pixel 
that means this blue pixels uh, number of pixels right using reduce region function in a ge so basically e -E reduce uh, dot reducer dot sum will sum up all the pixels number of pixels right uh, in inside our aoi then the scale is 30 meter and maximum pixel is 10 trillion trillion pixel around 10 trillion pixels it can sum up right and the um, total sum that total sum we are going to multiply that with the image pixel resolution right pixel uh, resolution means 30 by 30 so basically let's say there are like million of this blue pixel from this uh, operation then we are going to multiply that 1 million with like 30 by 30 30 into 30 that means uh, that will give us the total area in meter square right and then later on uh, in order to change that meter square to kilometer square we simply divide that by 1 e to power 6 uh, which is uh, 1 million I think uh, so we simply divide that to get the snow covered area in kilometer square so if I hit run then definitely we'll get some number over here so it's 444 uh, kilometer square area right and that's our snow covered uh, total snow covered area but it's as i said before it might be subjective so uh, so if you change the threshold value to for example 0 0.3 then your area will increase because uh, we have a lot more pixel with which has value 0 0.3 right 532 but for now let me bring back to the 0 0.4 and uh, yeah this is our result and basically you might be wondering that some of the pixel we removed um, for example while removing cloud we might have removed the snow covered area as well yeah that's the limitation of this uh, method and of course instead of like uh, instead of using only one image maybe you can use all these 22 images and then try to like um, mosaic it together so that you will fill those void uh, so that things we are going to do in the next video next tutorial but for now yeah this is how you can like map this snow covered area i hope you enjoyed it i'll see you in the next